Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. And thank you, thank you, thank you. This is this is the second go at this. I made a little mistake uh, uh, when I shot the last one, and it, it's terrible because right now my internet is just crap. It is absolutely bad. So it, we had a perfect go of it on the last video, but I messed it up. So you're gonna have to watch this one happen uh, with uh, frame loss, but. The, the the method is correct. So I, I'm a big fan of privacy. I'm a big fan of privacy. I'm a big fan of anam anonymity. And if something can be done on Web 3 that cannot be done on Web 2, I'm going to take advantage of it. Now, what we're talking about in this case is a cash network. We are pivoting our entire channel away from YouTube. We do not want to continue talking about decentralization in the most centralized space on the planet where you effectively need permission to say what you want, do what you want, and uh, basically exercise your, your fundamental human right. I had an epiphany, and I'm sorry, this is just the way to go for us, man. Look, we like to do our thing, and we like to do it our way, and we're just tired of asking for, for permission. And again, when you're talking about crypto, you need to embrace what it actually is, not just, is it going to go up? I'm a crypto investor. You guys know I have been doing this for years and years and years, but there comes a time when it's not simply about the money. It has to be about the tech. So... I am looking for projects that have value capture. A cache has value capture. I'm looking for projects that embrace privacy. A cache embraces privacy. So it's just a real good fit for me. But it's not just look at this, look at what we, uh, look at what it is. The price is going to go up. Everyone's going to get really excited. I have to use it. That's it. So Jackal's going to be launching pretty soon. That's going to be our our video hosts. Or there, we're going to we got a way to host our videos there, and give them out to uh, give them out to all of our members. And our live streams are going to be only on a cache. Period. That's it. We're not live streaming to YouTube anymore. We uh, are going to be. We'll just we're going to kick the link of where we're going to be going live. We're going to put it in the podcast discord. Anybody that wants to join is more than welcome to join. We don't care. We don't censor. We don't ban. We don't do any of that stuff. You want to call it, you know, you want to jump on there and bust me, go for it. All right. We're not, there is no anonymity in this case, maybe hiding behind internet, uh, internet anonymity. We're right out there. You want to yell, welcome to it. But uh, that's where we're going to be posting the links. So what we're going to do here is a step-by-step -step on how to actually set up and make your own live stream over on a cache. It takes about five minutes, assuming this goes right. Now, this is weird for me because everything's being shot over in the third monitor, so you're going to have to give me a little bit of latitude on this. Uh, I don't edit. I don't do any of those things, so you get what you get. So we're just going to go ahead and pop over there, and we're going to walk you through step-by-step. -step. First thing you're going to need is CloudMoss. Just it's grab the uh, grab the app cloud Moss deploy. Uh, you guys are DGENs. You know what you're doing. I'm not going to sit here and walk you through on how to create an Akash wallet on cloud Moss. It's a seed phrase. Write it down. Put some Akash in there and you're ready to go. So I did not do this right up. I am an absolute caveman when it comes to servers. I'm an infrastructure guy. I am not a server guy. So fortunately, we were able to find a really good write-up. Uh, this was written by Envy. Uh, real good write-up. So we'll put the link in the uh, description if you want to read it for yourself. But I'm showing you right now basically the only thing that you need, and that's the SDL that he put together. So we're going to real quick, we're just going to copy this SDL. I had to look up what an SDL actually is. Again, I'm a caveman. And we're going to create a deployment. We're going to use an empty uh, we're just going to use an empty one because we have our SDL here and we're going to paste it in. So it defaults you to two CPUs, two gigs uh, RAM, two gigs of storage. We're going to go ahead and change that up to eight. And how about 20 and 20 because servers are great. Bigger servers are even better. This is where the uh, shine really starts for me. They don't ask who I am. They don't ask my email address. They don't ask anything from me. All they want to, all they ask is, do you have five of cash to escrow? I do. So we're going to go ahead and put it in. We're going to complete the transaction. 
And now we're going to put what we're looking for, and it's going out to bids to the Akash network. So any of the providers that happen to have this information, that happen to have this available, here you go. Knock yourself out. Uh, you can rent our servers. You can do our thing. Now, all of them have different uh, prices depending on where they are. We're going to pick one here. We're just going to pick the cheap one. I don't want exactly the cheapest one. I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't want to go across the pond because my internet is already screwed. My frame rates are going to be jammed, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, and we'll do it through uh, Agile Tech Solutions over in the UK because if I am going to stand up a pirate server, I don't want it in the States. So, again, keep in mind my internet sucks right now. Uh, the tech's coming tomorrow, and he better fix it. Man, I pay $500 a month for internet. I expect it to at least function the way... <laughs> If I paid 100% of the bill, I want 100% of the internet. Call me funny about that. So uh, there we go. And this is what we need to see after we secure the lease. So we want to see that the create uh, that the container is created and that the container has started. This is what we need to see here. Then we're going to come over to logs and we should see five things. This is everything that you need to know about this is happening right now. So that's great that got us to here the server is up the server is ours and we can do what we want with it now so a couple of little bit of information that you're going to need so come pop over to here this is the deployment that we just created you can change it name it do whatever you want to do with it first thing that we're going to do is open our own cast server so the link is right there boom that is where you're going to be transmitting to now we're going to need this information right here because now we have to put it into our stream. So I use Streamlabs OBS. You use whatever encoder works for you. This is the one that I use, and it works for me. So we're going to come over here. Oh, I want to leave that HTTP in, and we're just going to paste it in. Now, we also need the port. The port is that they opened up for you sitting right there, 32053, so uh, colon three two oh five three slash live now the stream key for this is defaulted to abc one two three all lowercase so i it's already in there you can see it right there it doesn't matter you can change this in the owncast admin panel do whatever you want to do and then hit done and that is it all right we are now ready to live stream now this is where my problem where it broke down last time is that i turned it off and turned off the recording so i'm hoping that the recording will stay going as soon as i hit the live button we're going to find out here in a second if it is i simply cannot do this video and wait for it oh did i put in the uh, i put in the stream wrong one second guys i'm sorry caveman uh there you go take that out I did copy the whole thing. Done. Go live. Sorry about that. Uh, I, again, I'm not a server guy, man. I just talk into a microphone. And the stream has started. Now, this is going to be rough. Again, my internet sucks. If you do it on acceptable internet, you're not going to have any issues. Uh, right now, we're hitting 6K. No frame loss. Life is good. So I'm, I'm hoping that it'll hold. And now, this is what we're streaming out. So I'm going to try to pause this before the audio and plays over it. Boom. So we're now live streaming us making this video and it's being live streamed to that right there. Now I'm taking the server down as soon as we're done. But if I didn't, I could just leave this up, let it run, let it do its thing and uh, nobody can stop us. So <laughs> this is uh, this is the future, guys. All right. This is how you can live stream to effectively anywhere on the planet five minutes of setup and the only thing that they want to know from you the only bit of information that they want from you do you have five a cash that's it if you find this helpful i'm not asking for likes subscribes anything that i don't care if you find this helpful i would love it if you utilize this set up your live stream set up your servers use a cache whatever you're looking for these guys are cheaper I've been hunting all over the uh, the planet, and I haven't found anything that works better. So simple that even a caveman can do it. Start to finish, five minutes, and you are up and live streaming. I absolutely believe that privacy is 100% a human right. Privacy, freedom of speech, freedom of expression... 
If it offends you, tough. Don't watch. But doing it like this, who are you going to complain to? Call the provider. That's all I got to say on that one. They don't know who I am. They don't care who I am. All they care is do you have five of cash. Guys, this is the future, hands down. As far as it being an investment, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. It's it's definitely one for me. I see the value capture right there in front of it. Every time somebody uses it, a cash gets used as a currency. The more demand with <laughs> supply, the higher the price goes. Man, it's not that hard to work out. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns right there. Scott at the podcast.com. I answer any and all emails. And until next time, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. Cheers.